Hey, what is going on guys? We're going to build something super simple with Node.js. We're going to build a cron job scheduler. Now you may ask, what is a cron job? A cron job is a time-based scheduler. This allows the user to use the cron to schedule jobs to run at a fixed time, date, or interview. This can be very helpful if you want to automate certain tasks. Say, a file is updated on the system. You can take that file, push it up to a database. You can use this scheduler to do just that for you. Which is super nice. It's gonna be super short and simple, so let's jump right into it. No bells and whistles. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see. So we are gonna need some packages. We are gonna need node cron which nothing should work because I already have all this stuff installed and we also we are also going to need shell JS this allows us to interact with the shell now this will be for Windows operating system so Windows commands LS will not work here So let's go and start by importing our requirements. Node cron. Then we need, oh, this probably, the cron's not changing, so you can just make that a const. Uh, shell is equal to require shell js. That's all you need. So to start setting up the scheduler, you can use cron, you can dot into it for the schedule, and this will take a, a string, an expression, in the format of seconds, minutes, hour, days of the month, month, and days of the week. And the stars, mean that it will run at every second, every minute, every hour of every day of every month. But you can modify these, you can put a number in here. Between seconds, so if you want to run every five seconds, you can put five seconds. If you want to run, you know, at zero seconds, but at five minutes, run it every five minutes. You know, every seventh hour. or say in January, or you can put actual names of the months. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to run it every second of every day of every minute. And then our next parameter takes in a function. You can use an arrow function here, but I will not be doing that. And you can put console logs in here and this is where we can use our shell so now we can execute with our given command so for Windows to list out a directory is dir and this will be wrapped inside an if block because it will dot for a code which will return a code that we should expect not to be equal to zero. Otherwise, something went wrong. But if we return something other than a zero, we continue to loop through the scheduler without any issue. So let's jump over to our command window and see how it does. And we're inside of our command within this directory of the project. Let's say node.index.js because I did not save it. 
Try it again. No dot index.js. There it is, running every second, listing out the directories. Very useful. Not only is it limited to commands, you can also run different files. So in our project, we do have this console log that says hello world and say hello.js. So inside of this shell.execute, we can just simply go node.say hello.js. Let me save it. And we can jump back over to our command window. index.js schedule it running hello world hello world and it runs and runs until you stop it and yeah that's all that's to it super easy to get a cron job up and going with node.js this does work for mac linux and windows Again, your command in here will be different. You know, for Unix, it will be ls instead of dir. Just all depends on your operating system. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys found this useful. Until next time.